Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today, we are back with the role of artworms in soil health and benefits of artworm. Artworms are functionally very important and diverse and therefore potentially useful for the management of biodiversity and ecosystem services. Artworms help build your soil. Artworms contribute significantly to soil health as they burrow through the soil and feed on microorganisms and organic matter. There are thousands of artworm species worldwide. These species are placed into one of three groups depending upon their burrowing and feeding habits. Each group of these artworms contribute to soil health in different ways, but they have a couple of things in common. Artworms frequently excrete these castings through the soil profile. There, the castings rapidly stabilize and become resistant to chemical and physical degradation. This benefits total soil structure by helping to prevent compaction. Casting also acts as storage units for nutrients such as nitrogen and carbon. Moreover, as artworms burrow, they secrete mucus from their bodies to aid in tunneling activity. The mucus lined burrow naturally contains a higher nutrient content than the surrounding soil. Now, let's see how to introduce artworms. Earthworm burrows improve soil porosity, which increase the amount of water and air that get into the soil. Earthworms are sometimes recognized as ecosystem engineers because they significantly modify the chemical, physical, and biological properties of the soil profile. This modification can influence the activities and habitat of other organisms within the soil ecosystem. The following practices boost artworm populations, that is, tillage management, crop rotation and cover crops, manure and organic byproduct application, pasture and hayland management, soil reaction, that is, pH management, drainage or irrigation. Change management practices. If you do not have any artworm in your soil, introduce some of the practices described above. It is surprising how quickly they build up in favorable conditions. Transplant pasture. Cut pasture sorts from areas with high worm population and transfer them to worm-free areas. New colonies will establish within a couple of years as long as there is a plenty of organic matter and soil and climatic conditions are favorable. You must transplant pasture, not just worms. Do not try and transplant compost worms into agricultural soils. Species that thrive in compost will not survive in harsher conditions of bedlock soils which dry near the surface. Artworms are wonderful little creatures that will flourish within the best conditions. So, before introducing artworms to farming or garden soil, conditions must be favorable for the survival of the artworms such as cultivated soil from older gardens are usually compacted, have poor drainage and structure, and usually experience a shortage of organic matter. Moreover, artworms should not simply be placed on soil surface because they will be preyed on by birds and die from exposure to sun. If artworms are to be introduced to the soil, the below guidelines should be followed. Add water and also some natural compost. Place about 10 earthworms in each hole and fill up with soil. The earthworms will constantly need a food source in the form of organic material left as cover layer either from leaves or compost or as grass clippings. Now, let's get into benefits of earthworms. Earthworms influence the soil ecosystem in several ways. They are Increase organic matter. Artworms feed on soil and dead or decaying plant remains including leaf litter, straw, and dead roots. They are the main agents in mixing dead surface litter with the soil, making the litter more accessible to decomposition by soil microorganisms. Animal dung is also an attractive food for several species of artworms. The below farming practices provide food for artworms. Permanent pasture. 
Permanent pasture provides organic matter like roots and leaves die and decay. Pasture slashing and manure from grazing animals are also good source of organic matter in pasture. The next is green manure crops. These crops are fodder crops turned into the soil by providing organic matter to benefit the following crop. The crops are slashed or grazed, sometimes pulverized, and then left on the surface or turned into the soil. The next is crop stubble. Stubble is a significant source of organic matter. Burning stubble destroys surface organic matter and this is affect worm numbers. It is best to leave stubble to rot down and sow following crops into the stubble using aerial sowing. Minimum tillage or direct drill, all the these practices mean less cultivation and this also encourages earthworms. The second benefits of earthworm in soil is improved soil structure. Earthworm cause semen soil particles together in water stable aggregates and these can store moisture without dispersing. In favorable conditions, they can bring up about 50 tons per hectare yearly, enough to form a layer 5 mm deep and one trial found worms build 18 cm thick topsoils in 30 years. Earthworm burrows change the physical structure of the soil and they open up small spaces known as pores within the soil. When earthworms are introduced to soils, devoid them, they Burrowing can lead to rises in water infiltration rates of up to 10 times the original amount. This brings soluble nutrients and water down to plant roots. Burrowing also improves soil aeration and improves plant root penetration. The next benefit is it improves nutrient availability. Worms feed on plant debris and soil. Their digestive system focuses on the organic and mineral constituents in the food they eat. So, their casts are richer in available nutrients than the soil around them. Worm bodies decompose quickly, additionally contributing to the nitrogen content of the soil. The next is increased infiltration. Earthworms increase porosity as they move through the soil. Some species develop permanent burrows deep into the soil. These burrows can preserve long after the inhabitant has died and can be main conduit for soil drainage mainly under heavy rainfall. The next benefit is improved water holding capacity. By fragmenting organic matter and enhancing soil porosity and aggregation, worms can significantly increase the water holding capacity of soils. What earthworms do in the soil? Earthworms eat animal manure, dead leaves, grass, semi-rotted compost, rotting plants, and a bits of soil. Organic matter is ground in the gizzards, mixed with digestive juices and enzymes in the stomach, then returned to the soil. Earthworms remove fungal spores and surface debris from the garden. They clean the garden of unwanted organic materials. Earthworms eat their weight in soil and organic matter each day. A pound of earthworms eat a pound of soil and organic matter each day. Earthworms turn soil into humus, enhancing soil structure. Their coil-like castings are stable when both dry and wet, thus improving soil structure. Earthworms reproduce rapidly and increase population exponentially. Now. Let's get into role of earthworms in sustainable agriculture. Earthworms play a major role in changing the physical structure of soils by producing new aggregates and pores which improve soil tilt, infiltration, aeration, and drainage. Earthworm produce binding essence responsible for development of water-stable microaggregates. They improve soil porosity by mixing and burrowing soil. As they feed, earthworms participate in nutrient cycling, plant residue decomposition, and redistribution of nutrients in the soil profile. Earthworms maintain the physiochemical properties of the soil by converting biodegradable materials and organic waste into nutrient-rich products. Emerging from their burrows to deposit the facial matter on the surface. My earthworms 
stimulate microbial activity, mix and aggregate the soil, soil water content, and water holding capacity. That's all folks for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.